In today's video, I'm gonna introduce you to my favorite glass cutting tool for mosaics. We'll talk about how to use it, how to maintain it, and some specialty cuts that can transform your artwork. Oh, and it cuts more than glass. Let's get to it. Welcome back, and if you're new here, my name is Julie. And on this channel, we talk about tips, tricks, tools, adhesives, materials, and specific mosaic projects, all to shorten your learning curve when it comes to creating mosaic art. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. If you're just starting in mosaics, in glass in particular, you may want to seriously consider getting yourself a pair of wheeled glass nippers. As I mentioned in the intro, wheeled glass nippers are my favorite cutting tool in the studio, without a doubt. And let me preface it by saying, although I use glass and ceramic and stone, etc., in my mosaic artwork, I do use the correct tool for each of those materials. However, it is how this tool feels in my hand as well as what it does with the cutting that makes me love it so much. So really it's a matter of what is your area of concentration in your mosaic making and what materials are you using the most? Wheeled glass nippers can cut down a variety of materials like stained glass, vitreous glass, glass tile, porcelain, ceramic, china, glass gems, and even smalty. It's a pretty handy tool. I'll quickly go over the features of the nippers and then we'll get into how to use them, the maintenance of them, and then my favorite, the specialty cuts. Before I begin, you want to get yourself a pair of protective eyewear like these. Since you'll be cutting glass and sometimes pieces of glass can randomly go flying. So always be alert and aware when cutting. Firstly, know that wheeled glass nippers don't break the bank. And this brand in particular that I use is well worth the investment. It is a little bit more than what you would find at your local craft store or hardware store but I'm telling you, it's well worth the extra money. These are my wheeled glass nippers. They're Lepinets or Laponets, depending on who you ask. They feel good and comfortable in my hand. They aren't too wide and they squeeze very smoothly. They're lightweight and feel sturdy, if that makes sense. Just know that these nippers are a solid tool and well worth the price. I've had this pair for well over 15 years, and these are my original wheels. And I use this tool often, so that shows you a quality product that's made to last. And I say original wheels because yes, they can crack. However, they're replaceable, which is a good thing to keep in mind. The wheels are carbide. They're sharp initially, but obviously over time with repeated use, they do dull. Still, you always want to keep your fingers out of the way of them. So, as you can see, these are two wheels at the end and handles at the other end. You always want to make sure that the wheels are tight before you begin cutting with them. When you squeeze the handles, the wheels come together and you want to make sure there's always a little gap between the wheels. If there isn't a little gap, you're gonna unscrew the screw with the Allen wrench that came with your nippers and you're, you can adjust the wheels and then tighten the screw back together. That gap between the wheels is where you'll put your piece of tessera to nip or cut. If you're right-handed, you'll hold the nippers this way. And if you're left-handed, you'll hold the nippers this way. So to cut a piece of tessera, you'll put it between the wheels with your wheels fully on the piece of tessera and squeeze the handle. I say fully on because unlike the tile nippers where you would trail the blade off of your tessera, the wheel glass nipper blades need to be fully on and centered on your piece of tessera. 
You don't need to get a ruler out every time you go to cut. Just eyeball it. Make sure your nippers are at a 90 degree angle with the material you're nipping. You can cup your hand around the piece of tessera that you're cutting, or you can cut into a container, or onto your work surface, or even cut into a towel. I've even risked cutting directly over a garbage can, which sometimes resulted in me losing the piece, so I wouldn't advise doing that, because then you have to start over. The smaller the piece of tessera, the more likely it will cut straight. Not always, but there's a higher likelihood. So I'll start with vitreous glass. You can easily cut rectangles of different sizes. Just put your tessera between the wheels and squeeze. The wheels allow you to cut your tessera down to a teeny tiny size, which is another benefit of this tool. And as I mentioned, these nippers cut a variety of materials. Some are easier to cut than others. We already cut vitreous glass, and I'll show you stained glass a little later in this video. And here's thinner ceramic. And as I mentioned, some are easier to cut than others. And unglazed porcelain. These take a little more hand strength, but still the nippers get the job done. And here's some china, which of course includes plates, bowls, and mugs. As you can see, the nippers glide right through the material. Wheeled glass nippers can also cut smalty. These also take a bit more hand strength, but they do get the job done. Some pieces of smalty, though, are too big for the jaws of the nippers, so keep that in mind. And wheeled glass nippers can also cut glass gems, which are the flat-backed glass discs you may see at craft or floral supply stores. These also take a little more hand strength, but the wheels get it done. I'll show you some specialty cuts later in this video. Probably the number one feature of the wheeled glass nippers is that you can turn the wheels to get a sharper, cutting edge. And you'll know that it's time to do that when your cuts are not as you would have hoped or they're not straight or clean. Being able to turn the wheels for a new cutting edge is what makes this tool such a long-lasting hard worker in the studio. To do that, use the Allen wrench which came with your nippers and loosen the screw to the left turning the wheel slightly in either direction. It doesn't matter. You pick if you want to turn the wheel to the right or to the left. Then tighten the screw back up with the Allen wrench. You'll want to repeat this procedure with the other wheel. If you've turned your wheel to the right, you turn the other wheel to the right. And that way you can keep up with which direction you've turned your wheels. You can even mark your wheels with a permanent marker to keep track of what part of the wheels you've already used or dulled down. As for the rest of the body, I maintain it much like I do my tile nippers. If you saw the video I previously did, then you know that you can easily clean off most dried adhesives with a straight edge razor. This is especially important if you have dried on adhesive on the handles where you'll be squeezing. Sometimes once adhesive has dried, it can actually be painful for you to squeeze. And of course, you always want to keep the spring clean of any adhesive. You want that to be in its best working order. So let's talk a bit about specialty cuts using the wheeled glass nippers. As I previously mentioned, the smaller your tessera, the more likelihood that your line will cut straight. If it doesn't cut straight, it may be an indication that you need to turn your wheels. However, sometimes you don't want a straight line and you purposely want to cut a curved line. These cuts can help you convey things like hair, fur, feathers, 
grass, the wind, Christmas tree branches, waves, water, and even fire. To do this, you'll want to have a smallish piece of tessera. So the piece of stained glass I'm going to cut is about two inches by three inches. You'll place your nippers on the tessera at an angle, not 90 degrees like before, at an angle, then squeeze the handles. Just keep cutting curved pieces and perfecting or changing the way you're angling the nippers. Imperfect cuts are actually what you're looking for, but this does take practice. Some of your cut pieces might need a little more nipping to look more like the others. Once you have enough pieces, start playing with arranging them to see if they fit the idea you're hoping for. Once you start getting comfortable with your nippers, you'll see how easy it is to not only cut rectangles like we did earlier, but also squares by cutting down rectangles and also cutting triangles. You can also cut circles rather easily. To do this, you can either eyeball it or draw a circle onto your tessera with a permanent marker. I like to cut off the four corners first. Then I start nipping away, making smaller, fine cuts as I go around. I'll stop and take a look to see where I need to nip some more and then continue on until it's a circle. Wheeled glass nippers are a fun, valuable tool for mosaic artists, especially if you're going to be working with glass of any type. Question of the day, let me know in the comments what's your favorite mosaic hand cutting tool. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up as it really does help my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell notification so you never miss a single upload and let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like me to cover in a future video. I'll see you soon. Bye. No, I didn't like how that, wow. Thunderstorm held off. Woohoo! Lepin it, lapon it, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. I think that, I think that third one was the, the best one there. I love these things. I love you. You are awesome. What am I talking about? If you're looking for more mosaic inspiration, you can check out one of these two videos. Until then, see ya. Oh, here comes the thunder. We better cut it. <laughs> <laughs>